Mesoamerica. Ancient Mexico and Central America were home to some of the earliest and most advanced civilizations in the Western Hemisphere. This region is known historically as Mesoamerica, a term that refers to the geographic area and cultural traditions of the pre-Columbian civilizations of Mexico, Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. A line that snakes across central Mexico near the Tropic of Cancer forms the northern boundary of Mesoamerica. North of this line, rainfall sharply declines and the climate is much drier. The ancient civilizations of Mesoamerica all arose and developed in the area between this line and the Guatemalan highlands far to the south. Mesoamerica was a great melting pot, home to many people and interrelated cultures. During the centuries before European contact, it was the most densely populated region in the Americas. The human history of Mesoamerica reaches back many thousands of years. The first inhabitants of the region were nomadic hunter-gatherers, whose ancestors are believed to have migrated from Asia. Stone spear points found with ancient animal remains, including mammoth, provide evidence that early Mesoamericans hunted large game for at least part of their diet. By about 8000 BC, at the beginning of what is known as the Archaic Period, Mesoamericans began to make numerous specialized tools and ceremonial objects, and they hunted a wide variety of game, including pronghorn antelope, rabbits, and gophers. They were also expert foragers and harvested fruits, nuts, and the seeds of wild plants. Drawing on their extensive knowledge of edible wild plants, archaic Mesoamericans gradually learned to cultivate a variety of food crops, including maize. Precisely when farming began in Mesoamerica is unknown, but agriculture had become widespread in the region by 4000 BC. In the tropical lowlands, Mesoamericans practiced slash and burn agriculture, in which areas of jungle were cleared and burned to make fields for crops. When the soil was depleted and crop yields declined, the plots were abandoned and new ones were cleared. In some highland areas, particularly in the Valley of Mexico, the people constructed irrigation systems and established gardens on artificially made islands, known as chinampas, in lakes and swampy areas. Over time, Mesoamerican people came to rely on farming as their primary food source, and they settled in permanent villages. By about 2000 BC, many peoples of Mesoamerica were living principally on varieties of maize, beans, and squash. During the long archaic period, which lasted until about 2000 BC, small villages of extended families were at the center of the Mesoamerican society. Village resources were generally shared and permanent social classes did not exist. Yet, as agriculture became more intensive and efficient and helped to ensure a stable food supply, Mesoamerican village life became more complex. Towns with many thousands of citizens and empires with millions of subjects were established, and a new social system of hierarchy began to emerge shortly after 1000 BC. At Almec sites in the swampy rainforest of eastern Mexico, for example, the ancient architecture, 
signals the beginning of a division of society into elite and commoner groups. The sites contain a complex of plazas, pyramids, courts for sacred ball games, and temples, which were used for prayers and religious ceremonies, as well as finely built stone dwellings for the upper classes. These sites mark the beginning of an evolutionary sequence characterized by even larger, more complex, and more stratified societies in Mesoamerica. With the steady progress in agriculture, the life of Mesoamericans became more diverse too. As new gods that could assure bountiful crops, including deities believed to control rainfall, flooding, or fertility, grew in importance, Mesoamericans began to build ceremonial pyramids and temples in the larger towns after about 1500 BC. They frequently worshipped the forces of nature as gods, including agricultural deities, and conducted elaborate rituals and ceremonies to secure that goodwill and support of these gods. Secure the goodwill and support of these gods. Furthermore, agricultural wealth fostered a, a network of trade. Merchants in urban centers sold tools, cloth, and luxury items imported over long land and sea routes. Great heights were achieved in the arts and sciences, and systems of writing and highly accurate calendars were established based on astronomical observations.